Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Hi, friends. Welcome to the seventh episode of Trading with Venus podcast. My name is Ryan. And I'm Raman. And today, we're going to be talking about the true cost of losing trades. As you all know, winning and losing are two aspects of forex trading. You can never have one without the other. We will always have losing trades, no matter how good we are. However, in an effort to get unrealistic returns, we put ourselves in a position to take huge losses. And that brings us to the question, is this really worthwhile? What do you think, Raman? In my opinion, it is not worthwhile to take huge losses in your trading. Like you just said, losses are a part of trading. There's no getting around that. We all have losses. We all experience losses. Sometimes these losses can be really big, and that's when we run into trouble. So in terms of the true cost of losing, it goes beyond just the monetary losses. So the first thing that we'll, let's talk about is the monetary losses. When you take huge losses, it is really hard to recover your account. What I've found most people do is they will they will go on and take good trades. Sometimes they may go on a string of winning trades and then they get euphoric. They get really excited and they start losing trades. And on the other hand, sometimes people will just go on a losing streak. They may lose one or two or a few trades and then they try to build, get the losses back and they go on a bigger losing streak after that. So either one of these can really derail you and and put you in a mindset where you are, when you just, we just keep losing trades and all those losses add up and become really big. In the end, you could even end up losing your account or you can lose a huge part of your account. So you have to be careful with that. I read a statistic that said, if you lose more than 75% of your account, the chances of you recovering your account back or coming back to break even are almost nil. You have to add more funds to your accounts to actually bring it back, which makes sense because when we start trading back, again, we are managing our risks. It will take us a large number of trades to build the account back and which could take months to build it back, even just to break even, let alone going into profit. Another thing that we need to look at is is loss of perspective. That's an even bigger question than just losing your losing the funds in your account. When we start taking big losses, we lose perspective. We don't know what's right, what's wrong. It's just the way human mind works. We are in a totally different emotional state. Our, our brain doesn't think properly. It's like getting into an accident. When you get into an accident, when you try to get back up, you know, you're not thinking clearly. And because of that, you may not be able to walk properly. You may not be able to do, somebody may ask you a question and you may not be answered to, you may not be able to answer those questions because again, your mind is not thinking clearly. The same thing happens to us when we take huge losses or when we lose an account. It's like, post-accident trauma. You're not thinking clearly. You have lost that perspective. So in that case, what we need to do is just take a step back. Just give it some time. Take a step back, go do something else, and then come back to it with fresh perspective. Then come back to it with your trade plan. Know what you're doing. Look at what kind of trades you like to take. And based on that, build that plan for coming back. Don't just jump back into more trades in order to recover their account. I've seen people do that sometimes. They lose a whole bunch of trades or a big portion of their account, and then they start taking more risk. Whereas what we need to do is reduce our risk and try it once again, as opposed to taking on more risk, because then the more risk you take, the quicker you can lose money. So that's another thing. And the third and the biggest issue with losing trades is the psychological damage it causes. We can put more money into our account to build it back up. However, it's hard to build yourself back up from such a loss. 
You can start second guessing yourself. You start taking trades that are not even there, like the trade setups that are not part of your plan. Or you may start losing good trades because you didn't get in when it was the right time to get in. You waited too long for confirmation and you, you were just thinking too much about it. You were too much in your head. So you didn't actually take the right action. And by the time you enter the trade, the trade is gone. So you end up chasing price, which is not what we want to be doing either. Another thing I have found is that the pendulum tends to swing too much to the other side where we become crippled by our losses and, and we can't make rational decisions. In this case, when you're trying to recover from a big loss or from losing trades or loss of an account, there are a few things I recommend that you do. Very first thing you need to do is take some space, take some time for yourself and just walk away from your trade station, close everything down and just go do something else. Do something that you're good at to build up your confidence back. Spend some time with people who love you, people who love you for who you are. Something that to fill up that emotional well inside you. And secondly, forgive yourself. We all make mistakes from time to time. In our life, we will make thousands of mistakes. And it is okay. It is okay to make mistakes, but then forgive yourself and let it go. You know, there will be more trades in the future. There will be more opportunity to make money. But if you are just so hard on yourself, you won't be able to take part in those opportunities. You won't be able to take the trades that you need to take and you won't be able to be the trader that you want to be. So don't let that cripple you. Third thing that you can do is come back with a proper plan. So take some time. Once you once your thinking is clearer, start building a trade plan. Look at what you were doing before and what you need to do. So have that plan ready. Then demo trade that plan. Take a few demo trades. Make sure you have tested it properly. If you need to back test it, back test it. But have some sort of test in place so that you have more faith in your plan. Once you have more faith in your plan, you can then start taking trades in a live account, but reduce your risk to such an extent that it doesn't make a difference whether you're profiting or you're losing money. So just take trades to make sure that you're able to hit your targets, you're taking proper trades, your entry and exits are correct, you are looking at the, the markets in a rational way. All those factors need to line up. So once you've had good number of trades under your belt, good trades under your belt, you're feeling more comfortable and more confident about your trading, then you can think about increasing your risk. But still, within that, keep your risk to maybe less than 1% so that you're not putting yourself in a position to lose all that account or everything that you've built up once again. And going forward, just manage your risk really well so that you don't put yourself in the same position. Oh, well, thank you so much, Raman, for answering the question and for sharing your recommendations with us. And for our listeners, if you have questions that you would like answered on the show, please send us an email to questions at tradingwithvenus.com. Till next time, goodbye. If you want consistency in your trading, we invite you to join our daily market analysis calls where we provide the levels to find the best entries and targets on an intraday basis. For a one-week free trial, please visit www.tradingwithvenus.com. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.